Welcome to Elk Hello. My name is Think Twice Mike, and I'm here to teach you five easy quarantine drinks you can make at home. A vodka Collins, a cucumber gimlet, a whiskey smash, a berry margarita, and a coconut mojito. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell and get notified every video I make. I'm making a lot this time of year, especially since we're quarantined, so thank you for watching. For the first quarantine drink, very easy a vodka Collins. You can use any vodka or gin for this drink. Very simple. You'll start off with three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice or an ounce, roughly three quarters to an ounce right into your uh, drink glass here just so you can see what I'm doing. Then we're going to go with a half an ounce of simple syrup and then two ounces of vodka. I chose lemon vodka because there's lemon in this drink and I felt like it would be good. Um, usually this gin or this uh, drink goes with gin, but you can interchangeably use vodka for a vodka Collins instead of a Tom Collins. So right into the glass there. I'm gonna put it into a shaker, give it a quick shake, get some ice here. Short shake. You don't really have to vigorously shake this one. It's gonna be a light, refreshing drink, and it's gonna to be topped off with a little soda water. Very simple, easy. And that is the Vodka Collins. All you need is a straw, save the turtles, paper straw. Light and refreshing. Honestly, you can't even taste the vodka. Delicious drink. For your second quick and easy quarantine drink, it's going to be a cucumber gimlet. All you, all you need is some gin or vodka, cucumber, lime juice, and a little bit of sugar. So you'll start off with a good couple chunks of your cucumber here. Put it right into the shaker and give that a short muddle. Jesus. And give that a quick muddle there. And now you're going to start off with two ounces of your gin. Next, you're going to go with three quarters ounce of lime juice. And then finally, half an ounce of simple sugar. Then you'll go ahead and give this a quick shake. This is going to be served up in a martini or a coupe glass. But if you're at home quarantining, do whatever you can. So. Usually you might want to double strain this if you have it. If not, just give it a tight squeeze and a good strain. And so there you have it. It's going to be a light, refreshing cucumber gin drink. Perfect for the springtime. The third quarantine drink that is a spring, fun, easy whiskey drink. So you see I'm going through all the, the um, alcohols here. Vodka, gin. Now we're on to whiskey. A fun, easy drink you can make for the quarantine is a whiskey smash, two ounces of, y'all, whiskey of choice. I, usually it would be a rye for this, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go with what we got. It is the quarantine. So we're gonna go ahead and pick five or six mint leaves here. Boop, boop, right into the glass. We're gonna go three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Lemon. See how much we can get out of that. Oh, what do you know? Perfect. And then we're gonna go a half an ounce or three quarters ounce, how, depending on how sweet you'd like to drink, 
of honey syrup, which is one to one ratio of honey and hot water. I just pre-mixed it here. Get mine a little sweet. All right. And then I believe I added all the ingredients. We will go ahead and throw some ice in and give this one a slightly vigorous shake. And this is a nice mix of like a whiskey sour and a mint julep, I'd say. And uh, we're gonna go get, a, go ahead and strain that oh, over the ice. A whiskey smash. I like to top it off with a little bitters, like any whiskey drink, and a mint sprig. And I will let you know how this one goes. Oh yeah, that's perfect for the spring time. Kind of weird because you're trapped inside your house, but perfect. Fourth drink you can make at home quarantining. We're gonna do a berry margarita. You heard me, berry margarita. Start off with three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. We'll go right into half a, a half an ounce of your simple sugar. Then I'm gonna do, instead of a Cointreau or a triple sec, I'm gonna use a blackberry brandy. And I'm just gonna use a half an ounce of that because it is on the sweeter side. And then we'll do two ounces of tequila. You heard me, two ounces of tequila. Mm -mm. Then I got this like um, mixed frozen berries thing. I let it sit on the counter for a few minutes. I'm just gonna take a couple of these berries here and toss them right in. Give it a quick mash mash. Mm-hmm, yummy yummy. This is just something I'm creating because we're quarantining and uh, you know, you gotta think on your toes, you heard me. All right, we'll ice that down, give it a little shake shake. In the meantime, we will salt the rim of our glass of Rooney. Bada bing, salt, shake. You will have to strain this because the berries will be very seedy. I don't know how you like it, but I don't like it that much seed. So the reason why I'm putting it into the glass first is because sometimes if you overfill the glass, you'll ruin your ice rim. So then we'll just add the ice. And it's not full, but what the hey. We'll add our garnish and a berry or two from our here drinker room. All right, and let's give it a try. This is a berry margarita. Mmm, berry delicious. For the fifth and final quarantine drink, I'm gonna show you how to make an easy coconut mojito. It's very simple if you just do the right things to have set yourself up for success. You can use a like a simple limeade, not from concentrate, con from concentrate. You can use a simple limeade, not from concentrate, or you can make your own by squeezing fresh lime and having uh, sugar. So we're gonna start off with the mint. About eight or nine leaves. I like mine really minty and you don't want it to mask by the coconut. So uh, you are gonna be put adding a little extra sweetness with the coconut, so I want to put at least 10 leaves. And to get that going, you'll just just quick beat it up with a spoon or a muddler. Now we're gonna go ahead and add two ounces of our Havana Club, straight from Cuba, the real stuff, my friends. Shout out to uh, my friend, giving, giving us a free one, Christina, thank you so much. So, that's the real Havana Club. And then we're gonna go ahead and back that with about three quarters of an ounce or one pump of your Coco Lopez. Coco Lopez, two to three dollars in any grocery store. Um, if you live overseas, you might, you might have a little more trouble getting it either way. 
um, you're going to have a nice creamy finish with the Coco Lopez. You might have to heat it up right out of the can and put it in a squirt bottle or something. And then I'm just going to do a little squirt of simple syrup just to sweeten up all the lime juice I'm about to put in. I'm going to, to, I'm going to put a full ounce of lime juice. If you, don't, if you don't have fresh lime juice, just squeeze a couple of limes. Real simple. Or muddle them if you, if you have time. So then we're just going to ice this down. And we'll give it a quick shake -a You guys remember that from the last mojito video. All right. And this is going to be a nice complete drink. And we'll top it off with a little bit of soda water. Just a splash. Nothing too much. You don't want to ruin your drink now. I'm gonna top it off with a little more crushed ice here just to get the look you want. And then I have it, a little lime and a mint sprig to top it off. Looky there, a coconut mojito. Oh, this brings back memories. And there you have it. A coconut mojito. Oh my God, that's good with the Havana Club in it. Oh, I'm gonna chug this one. Thank you so much for watching Alga Hello. These are your quarantine cocktails. I really hope you enjoyed them. Sip, sip, my friends. Please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell. Comment below if you have anything to say. And any and all of the stuff you see here today are in links below. Thank you so much for watching.